Hi, this is Nancy with Stonewall's Farm Yarns, and we've got some yarn here today. This is our local uh, merino, and what I wanted to do was just run you through what a long tail cast on is. If my fingers are looking kind of different colors, it's because I've been dyeing yarn. The first thing you're going to start off with is a slip knot. Okay, and the big deal about slip knot is you pull it apart, boink, it's gone. So make a loop, and then you see how you've got one yarn in front of the other yarn? I'll put So the yarns cross, stick a loop through there, tighten it up. Okay, if you're having a problem with that, I'm not a big knot person, so if you're having a problem with that, I will put a link um, down below for a knot lesson. The guy's really good. Anyway, so here we've put our our slip knot, right? Slip knot, do a loop, pull it through, tighten it up, and then put your needle through there and pull that up tight, snug to the needle, not tight, 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 but snug. Kind of think of the of the yarn as being something that's alive and you don't want to jerk on it too hard. So here you've got, we're getting ready to do a long tail cast on because it has a long tail. It's called a long tail cast on. And you're going to be using both of these yarns that are hanging down here to do a yarn tail, a long tail cast on. Well, let's move that yarn out of the way and try to make this a little less confusing. And maybe get that needle out of the way too. Okay, so we have these two yarns. I'm going to stick my index finger through those yarns and then grab the yarn. And then I slip my thumb in and pull it to the side. And then I have both yarns, and there's a drawing next to this that'll show you how this goes. But both yarns are held down here by my little finger. Go uh, up the right side of my index finger up the right side of my thumb and around and I that I stick the needle into my palm here pick up this yarn bring it through and let it go okay so and it, and it's again snug up against the the knitting needle so just take a look at how this is and of course when you know when you do this stuff doing it is how you're going to learn Watching it, it's just really confusing, but you want to come under the the yarn on your palm, up over the next yarn toward the index finger, and pull that up in the thumb hole there, and then just snug it up to the needle. Again, against the palm, around to the first yarn at the index finger, and up through the hole by the thumb, and then snug it up. Into the palm, pick up that, that yarn that's resting against your palm, come over to the first yarn at your index finger, and come up through the thumb. Now, eventually, you know, this just gets to be muscle memory, which is kind of weird. I'm looking at a video camera and my hands are doing this. It's kind of like watching somebody else do it. But anyway, so there you are. And my long tail cast on was not terribly long because I just had a little bitty tail here. But uh, so that's a long tail cast on. It's, it's probably one of the most common cast ons that you'll ever use. Great to know how to do. See you next time. Thanks. Bye.